Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for you for the month of November. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Typically my readings are love readings and again, you know, this reading may be for you. It may not be. It's for somebody. For somebody. It may not be for you because this is for a wide audience, right? Like, there's no way I can connect with every single person. Just going to see what comes up for November for Scorpio. I read the cards intuitively. I do not follow the traditional meanings all the time. I go with whatever they want me to say. And that's the way it is. Ooh. You could be dealing with a bully. You got a bully around you? Somebody that is abusive, perhaps? Ah, yikes. So there could be some conflicts. You got. You could be fighting. You may, I mean, I hate to say this. I really do. But to start a reading off like this, I mean, it is what it is, right? There's definitely some conflict here between a man and a woman. Somebody's thinking about giving up, trying to stick it out. Holding on, maybe you guys are just holding on or you were holding on because it was stable, you know? But it's like the box has been opened though, right? Pandora's box has been opened, okay? The box has been opened. Something has happened. There's been some sort of conflict and you're on the verge of giving up, right? You're growing weary. It's like it's almost over, right? You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Whoever you're dealing with, there's definitely some bitterness between the both of you. There's bitterness on both sides. Ah, oh my God. So, you know, there's some nasty words going back and forth, eh? It's like this is there's a real conflict going on here. At some point in November, you know, if this doesn't resonate at the beginning of November, watch it in the middle and watch it at the end because this is it. So I'm telling you what, there's a conflict here and there is some words going back and forth that are not pretty. You're probably going to receive some sort of communication or you're going to communicate with each other and it's just going to be you know, it could get a little nasty. Yeah, you, and this is a card of strength as well. It's like somebody has is gaining strength and needing to find their strength to restrain themselves. Well, this is a completion, right? This is this this card is is it's the last card in the deck. Lesson learned. I'm done. It's over. It's done. This phase. This long-term commitment, whatever it was, it's over, it's done. The box has been opened already, right? So this is the completion here. You may need to find that strength to, to, to complete this cycle. This phase of your life, whatever it is, something is coming to an end. And you can, you can say that a lesson has been learned. You've gained wisdom through this, whatever it is. The fighting could have to do with money, could have to do with home, you know. Uh, stability, whatever it is, it has to, whatever the art, whatever this arguing is that is going on definitely does involve. Assets, perhaps. Somebody's leaving. The Eight of Cups. Somebody is walking away from something that has no more relationship growth with the Knight of Cups reversed. 
It's like the cup no longer has anything in it. The cup of love is gone. It's like this isn't love. It's over. It's done. Somebody is taking the steps in a new direction. May cost them some money, but it looks like it looks to me like somebody is, is headed out. You could be dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. You could be dealing with anybody. We have, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Either way, there's a couple here. There's a couple. No matter what sign they are. There's a couple here that is fighting. <coughs> And it ain't pretty. There's some nastiness going on. And whoever you're dealing with is trying to control the situation with, you know, the silent treatment, um, petty behavior, uh, emotional blackmail. Um, they may be trying to hold money over your head, something like that. This person is not being very noble. We got somebody on the outside that isn't, isn't acting very noble. Um, this person may not have any ambition okay this person doesn't have a lot a lot of ambition and you need to find your resources to take action this is a card of manifestation through action it's where you find your power within to shed and to evolve to bring success into your life. So somebody here is, it looks to me like you are ending a cycle of nastiness, <laughs> okay? This was a, it didn't end on a good note or it's not ending on a good note. But this is about finding anything that you need within you, using all that you have learned throughout your life, you know, the strength, find because strength is underneath everything, to shed this situation and move to a better place towards happiness. So you guys are headed towards happier times. If things, if you have been going through a struggle with another person and there's been gossip and there's been fighting and there's been arguing and somebody's been holding something over your head, it looks like to me that you are going to find whatever the resources within you to bring your happiness back. So I do feel like happiness is going to come back. We do have a new beginning here with the world card. A lesson has been learned. Extreme happiness is coming. When you make that clear decision to step over the finish line, when you, this is the making, the, the decision has been made. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to complete this cycle. See things from a new perspective. Now, this is needing to let go to be happy. You need to let go to be happy. And that may take the strength that's underneath this card to let go. Ah. <sighs> You know, you may feel like you you you've been you've been robbed, right? The seven of swords reversed. You may feel like this is unfair, and maybe this person is 
is taking from you. You know, maybe this person is taking, underneath here we have this ten of, ten of Pentacles. Maybe they're taking some of your assets. You're being called to forgive and release. That's what this is. If you think about Judgment Day, you go up there, you talk, have your little final talk. The truth comes out, you release it, you forgive, and your new life begins. Forgive, release, accept, and begin again. This is a wake-up call. Truth is about to be revealed if it hasn't been already. Forgiveness is needed. It's time to wake up. Shed the old to bring happiness and success back to your life in a new direction. Remember that there's always stuff going on behind the scenes. Stuff that you don't know. The universe has a plan, right? You may feel like you're confused. You may not want to accept the reality of a situation. But the truth is, it's time to head in a new direction. The truth, it's time to head in a new direction. You have the ability to bring more success to your life once you get out. You get in your vehicle, this is a chariot, you get in your whatever and get out. You head in that new direction and victory and success will come. There's some, there's some secrets here too. There is. There's some secrets and lies. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. But the truth is going to come out. Don't you worry. The truth will come out. It will. Whoever you're hanging on to is not suitable. This contract is probably coming to an end or it has come to an end because you have a better match. Somebody that's better matched for you. But the person, whoever it is that you're hanging on to is not a good match. There's too many arguments. There's incompatibility. And now you have to accept the truth. Somebody has to accept the truth. Somebody's been lying. <laughs> Somebody is this is this is a lie. This is, it's a lie. Somebody has been lying. Somebody has been dishonest. And right now it may be a secret. Maybe the truth has come out. I don't know. But the truth is eventually going to come out. But something is hidden. Absolutely. There's something, some hidden truth that is probably going to come out that hasn't come out yet. That's what it looks like to me. But. I do believe that you are going to be successful in the end because I see with the Magician card and the Sun card that happiness is coming. Happiness is coming. Somebody has been refusing to accept the truth, refusing to see the truth, thinking that they were compatible with somebody needing to move on. Yeah, somebody was holding on to something, not getting prepared for the next arrival. They've been in a situation where they're, they've lost hope. There's no hope left. It's like I've, I've lost all hope in, in happiness, finding happiness. But there's a, there is an opportunity for happiness here. 
you know, when something doesn't work out, there's you always, always, always a reason for it. And I can see that you have somebody that is better suited for you, but right now you might not be able to see it because you're caught up in a mess. With somebody who may be, you know, well, this person is definitely argumentative. That's for damn sure. You're dealing with a very argumentative individual who likes to cause fights for some reason. Maybe they don't like it, but they do it, whatever. And um, they may be wanting some some of those assets. Assets, get it? You know, money, something... Something like that. That might be part of this issue. <laughs> Thank you, God. Yes. Somebody is after money. Somebody is after money. I mean, what, I, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, there's going to be a fight. You hear my cats fighting out by my door? It's a male and a female fighting too, right by my door. So yeah, it looks to me like you are dealing with an individual who probably isn't very stable financially and they need your, you know, money. So whatever, whatever. This person lacks ambition. Whoever you're dealing with lacks ambition to take care of themselves. <sighs> oh my goodness. So, you know, I mean, come on now. This person, well, whatever this is, somebody needs to start over. This is starting over on a new path. From the beginning, whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with, it's time to start over. Again, start over again, start over again. My advice is to let this person have what they want and move on because you will be successful. I see a lot of success coming for you. This person isn't going to give up the fight. They don't, they can't, they can't because they just can't. The best thing for you to do is to... Get in your vehicle and leave. This is personal freedom. Drop it. Drop it. Let that shit fall away. Drop it. Stand up and walk away. This is personal freedom. It's time to make this conscious change to let go of what doesn't serve you. Let go of this burden. Let go of this responsibility. Let go of it. This person, whoever it is that can't take care of themselves, they'll learn. They can do it. They'll learn. They'll have to. Maybe one of their life lessons is strength. Maybe there's a divorce on the horizon, Scorpio. I don't know. Whatever this is, there's definitely an injustice here. And there's probably going to be some court proceedings. I mean, this is, there probably is. But if somebody has been lying, the truth will absolutely come out. So there could probably be, you know, court this month. Maybe, maybe there's, or somebody sets up or files the papers or who knows. Maybe, maybe the cops get called. I don't know. Maybe the law gets involved or somebody, you know, just decides it's time for a divorce. I don't know. There's no more there's no more love in a situation. It's like the love is gone. And you're probably going to lose some money out of this, but that's okay. Because happiness is going to come. All you have to do is stop competing.
unless you want to fight. It could it can be a constant fight unless somebody do, just decides, you know, I don't want to fight. You can have it. You may be reluctant to not fight, but if you if you do not fight, you will you will feel relieved. Relief will come. You may feel like you're scared to be alone, but you're not going to be alone. You're not going to be alone. It's definitely a fight over money. We have a couple that is fighting over money. Assets. Jealousy, perhaps, as well. There could be some jealousy issues here. Whatever, whatever is happening, you need to you need to get grounded. And the best things in life aren't things. The best things in life aren't things. It looks to me like there's going to be a breakup of some sort. Two of Cups reversed. Because there's no more wish fulfillment there. It's time for you to head in a new direction. When you get to where you're going, this is a card of transformation, victory, and success. After you put yourself in that driver's seat, you take the reins and you get the hell out. But you have to, and this is a card of mental strength, you have to find the mental strength to do so. It's not about the money because it doesn't look like this is love. So it looks to me like there's somebody that may be heading in a new direction after they've hung on for a really long time. Is there new love coming? Is there somebody else? Is there new love coming for Scorpio? Is there somebody else? Is there somebody else? Yes, this four cups reversed. We'd much rather see that. It's up to you. Do you want it? Do you want it? If you want somebody else, it's up to you. You just have to extend that offer. Look in that new direction. If you want it, it's available. If you lack ambition, if you lack drive, if you lack self-confidence, if you don't take any action, well, then there won't be. It looks to me like you may not be in the mood at this point for a new partnership. Maybe you're not there. Maybe right now you're going through so much mental turmoil, mental conflict, fighting, uh, Confusion, you know, I mean, things are changing so quickly and there's a lot of animosity that you may be like, you know what, I couldn't do it if I tried. So, you know, I think right now the answer is I need to get out of this mess. So my reading for November, whenever this resonates for you, is I think there is going to be a contract that is on the verge of ending. There may be a filing for uh, divorce or how are we going to split these assets or um, a restraining order or something like that. I think that the courts or the law is going to be involved, you know, and it's, it's going to have to do with um, 
you know, a split. There's a split coming up. A split of some sort, sort where you may end up in court. And that's what I see, Scorpio. I know that's not what you want to hear. I am going to start doing the weeklies again next week. And we will focus on, you know, predictions of love. You know, what's, what's coming in for love. But if you're in a situation like this where you don't want a new partnership right now because you're going through a mental fucking... Or uh, whatever. You're going through hell. Looks like there's somebody is uh, going through a uh, whatever. That they may not want love at this. You know, I'm not ready for a new partnership. This is this is complete insanity. You know, that kind of thing. So if you are single, I'm sorry. I don't think this is... I mean, even if you're single, there could be some fighting going on in your family. Or even at work. There's definitely a fight, a brewing. Okay? And it's a big one that could end up in court. So, um, let's get an oracle card and see what happens. We'll just get one of these. Best things in life aren't things. That's funny. That came up. Mm. The ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. You need a cleansing. You need a release. You need time to heal. So stay tuned for the weeklies. This is whenever it resonates in November.